Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Championships have reigned historically on the Sunshine State. Both the Gators and the Seminoles have claimed their share. Florida and Florida State getting set to hook up in the battle for the Governor's Cup. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Florida State tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. quickly and he's got his man tackle at the 38 the defenders are really gonna have to get their heads into this game that was a big play and on first down no less we've got a first and ten ball on their own 38 Stopped in his tracks. The pass good for maybe yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 49. Cam picks him up six yards with a catch. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball in his hands. From the 49-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 41. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and ten. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. No gain on the play. play. That makes it second and ten. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 16, Mike 16. Ready, Mike 50. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. That's a D5 on the way. That'll make it third and five. Third and five. Ball on the 16-yard line. 
Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Chase is lined up to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's taken down at the 21. The Seminoles have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. But when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action... It really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Seminoles. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. Tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 79-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 7-3. Washington from the six, brought down at the 26. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes it to the 34. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Rose incomplete, knocked away. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. Call a loss of six yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Mike 16, Mike 16. Quick throw. The defender had it. Dropped it. Skinner was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Cowan will be the return man. And he 
he's tackled at the 43. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. Florida State is up four. And they make the stop at the 39. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. The Gators lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at about the 41. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, Florida State's up by four. to the action now here in the second quarter. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Brought down around the 48 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Get nice yardage on that run. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Maxi is the putter. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Gives it right side. Gets out to around the 28. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. it fly makes the catch and he might take it to the 20 touchdown Florida <laughs> trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he adds the extra point Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Cougars come into the game ranked fourth in the nation. The Bobcats rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Houston has the edge, 21 to 7. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. Fine. From the two. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions.
even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. a screen pass gets it to the back a three-yard gain on the old screen pass the punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one he makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line Here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Florida is up by three. He's taken down at the 43 yard line. Room around the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of six on that level. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes his way out to about the 25. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. Florida is going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up first down. Quick pass. Big play, and it's first and goal. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. Receiver incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Florida has a three point lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Dives, and he's down. Picks up five on the scramble. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. Tries to get around the corner. 
And they push him out at about the 37 yard line. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. The Gators in front by six. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it is because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. At the 30, he's got the corner. The 50. And he's finally taken down at the 30. The Gators continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here he goes. He makes his way to about the 18. First down. From the 18-yard line, first down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 10. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Larry, Larry, Larry. Close the mic. Stop your body. Quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds right around the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. A short yardage defense here. Touchdown, Florida State. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he hits the PAT. A poor play, 30-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Grant, the ball carrier, runs it left for a decent game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they got him. 
They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. Russ awaits the snap. Cowan fields it at the 44. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Seminole struggled in that first half. A big come out here in the third quarter on fire. I would have loved to have heard the halftime speech because this head coach is a demanding head coach. Clearly, he was not happy with the first half. Whatever he said has fired his team up, and they look like a different team here in the second half. Florida State with a one-point lead. Good outside run there. Beck picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 38. Mike 12. He's into the open field. He's tackled at the 27 yard line. First down. gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 27-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 26. Decided to go for it here. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 20 yard line. Huge play. It can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Scrambling. Bumbo! They fall on it. They'll bring him down at the 22. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. From their own 22 yard line, it's third down. Chucks it downfield. He goes up and gets it. Tackle around the 37-yard line. He's got 100 yards in the game now. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's 
knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Number 16's coming. Check Mike, check Mike. Come on. Fly 50. Slings it. And down he goes at the nine-yard line. The Gators saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. That's three down and one to go. The Seminoles lead it by one. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So two yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. She is 21. She is 21. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Ready. Three and five. Touchdown. And now they're winning this ball game. They'll go for two in this situation. He's in for the conversion. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Border rivals in the SEC, Arkansas and LSU square off, hoping to claim the golden boot. The Razorbacks strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Plenty of scoring, but will be 0-0, tied at 28. All right, thanks, Reese. Florida, ready to kick this one off. Cowan from the six. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. The option gets him a yard at best. in this game in the fourth quarter. This third and long is huge. Get him! Get him! Caught out in the open. He's taken down right around the 40. Townsend on the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. Mike 12! Mike 12! Here we go! Red AD! Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down in the open field. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets out to around the 25. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Back, back, back. 
Short over the middle. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. First down. From the 15-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 13. That makes it second and eight. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick pass. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. to convert here on another third down. Passes it to the middle of the field, and they hit him in the backfield. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. In the shotgun and five wideouts. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for them here. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. Grant gains around six yards on the run. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He fights forward to about the 33. Joyce comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. A minute to go in the ball game, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. He fights forward to about the 39. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it 39. And so that's going to do it. The Gators get the victory 21-14. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play. Show us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.